Hey guys, welcome to Search TV. This is Prashant and today we are here to review something that we all been eagerly waiting for, the Ultraviolet X47. It's an all new talk of the town crossover electric bike that was launched very recently and we want to see how it holds up in terms of design, performance, handling and practicality and finally come to a conclusion as to who it is for actually. A quick note before we start the video, in this video what we'll be doing is we'll be rating this bike based on the 6 different parameters and finally come to an arrival on the SEV score. We'll also help you understand what's good about this bike and what's not so good, unfiltered, let's get started. It's a crossover electric bike that is aimed at bike enthusiasts and people who like to ride bikes on a daily basis. Here are the different variants in which this bike comes and their ex-showroom price. The first thing that strikes my mind when I see the Ultraviolet X47 is how aesthetically appealing it is. Now, the bike is not just here to impress you or grab someone's attention, but it is here to make a bold statement. It carries a perfect crossover bike look, feels very aggressive right from the first glance on it. Like a part adventure, part street bike. From the front, you can see the aggressive LED headlight, DRLs, brake style fender, LED indicators and a visor. It's nice to see Indian flag colors on a bike makes us all feel a little proud. The tank and the side panels have curved character lines and X47 graphics which look really nice. The side profile of the bike gives you a very even and consistently designed feel that most people will definitely like. The cast aluminium frame looks very similar to the F77 one but it seems like a few tweaks have been made to support the design changes made in this bike. At the rear the bike carries the same aggressive look using these LED tail lights, grab handles and elevated seats. Now the mudguard or the flap is provided here but we'll have to see how well they can protect us from the splashes on the roads. So you can get the X47 in 4 different colors, cosmic black, sand, stellar white and turbo red. We personally like the turbo red but again it's a personal preference. Overall the bike doesn't seem overly rugged like an ADV, it feels more aggressive and purposeful than a street naked. In addition to the great looks that this bike offers, this also packs some serious heat when it comes to the features. Let's look at some of the prominent ones. Some of the prominent features include UV Hypersense, a Gen 6 77 GHz radar based ADAS system which covers up to 200 meters and assists riders with blind spot detection, lane change assist, overtake warnings, rear collision alerts and more. It also features a dual dashcam setup that can record 1080p videos with a 120 degree field of view. It comes with a 5-inch color TFT instrument cluster that displays all necessary information like trip information, odometer, health status, battery level, bike information, etc. X47 also has an inbuilt eSIM for connected features like remote tracking, OT updates and ride analytics. While employing some of the most advanced features like ADAS, the bike also houses all the basic features you will need like geofencing, anti-theft alerts, TPMS, real-time diagnostics, Type-C charging port, etc. Kudos to Ultraviolet for going beyond what's already being done in the market and doing something that every biker needs, especially with the safety features. When it comes to an Ultraviolet bike, the speed and acceleration is hard-coded in its DNA. We've seen that happening in F77. The same characteristics can be seen in the X47 as well. Now we feel that the performance is the meat of the bike, how fast it can go and how far it can go. Both of them are equally important. Let's check it out. The motor and the battery architecture are borrowed from the F77. It houses a PM AC motor that produces a max peak power of 30 kW and torque of 100 Nm. This is an insane number even for an electric bike. The top speed of the bike is 145 km per hour which is amazing for a bike in the crossover segment. The acceleration of the bike is also top notch, 0 to 60 km per hour in 2.7 seconds and 0 to 100 km per hour in just 8.1 seconds. The bike comes with two different battery variants, one with 7.1 kWh with an IDC claimed range of 211 km and the other one with 10.3 kWh with a claimed IDC range of 323 km. We expect the real world range to be around 200 to 220 km in the city and around 160 to 180 on the highways. This might not be ideal for someone who likes to take their bike on long rides frequently. There are three ride modes, glide, combat and ballistic and nine regen brake modes. So this was the performance test of the Ultraviolet X47. It is no slouch when it comes to handling speed and acceleration. It can go really fast when you need it. The curb weight is almost 210 kgs, added tech and even using ballistic mode occasionally can affect the overall range. So the Ultraviolet X47 is a bike that's built for everyday use, which basically means you should be able to easily ride it through the traffic, 
and take it on the open roads for a long ride and also do a little bit of off-roading. It's supposed to handle all three of these situations while providing a very good ride experience. The sitting position on this bike feels very comfortable. You're greeted with a wide comfortable seat and upright seating position and reaching the handlebar doesn't seem like a stretch. We felt the footlegs are a little rare set, inviting you to have that sporty ride bend. It might strain you a little while riding this bike for longer durations. You can feel how well X47 is designed and built to deliver acceleration when zipping through the traffic or speeding on open roads. The suspension setup on the bike 170mm travel both ends helps in improving the ride quality even on uneven surfaces. It sports 41mm inverted cartridge type front forks, a rare monoshock both with preload adjustability. This setup ensures a finely tuned, responsive and customizable riding experience that adapts to the rider and the road. The handlebar feels wide which makes the bike feel very stable at higher speeds and turning on open roads feels forgiving. But because of the weight of the bike and wide handlebar, you might find maneuvering around in the city traffic a little difficult sometimes. The bike performs very well in terms of braking, it is very responsive and reliable even at higher speeds. It houses disc brakes from Brembo at both front and rear. 320mm at the front and 230mm dual channel ABS disc brakes at the rear. The bike has a ground clearance of 200mm which is more than sufficient for your daily use. In a glimpse of a short ride that we had with Ultraviolet X27, we can confidently say that it can handle the city traffic very easily. It is a lot more forgiving than the Ultraviolet X77 which is really good for a bike of this size. We find the weight of the bike is a little higher when we were standing like that but when we start riding this bike and get used to it, it will become a lot more easier on you. Safety is a very important aspect when it comes to an electric bike and the Ultraviolet X47 will have you covered with all those aspects and more. We already discussed ADAS which covers your blind spot detection, overtake warning, lane change assist and rear collision alerts. There is dash cam both at front and rear which will be helpful for safety, insurance evidence etc. There is also traction control, stability control, hill hold assist and more which will add up to the safety. The bike comes with ADAS as a safety feature which is visual which means you'll have to be looking at the display or on the mirrors to get that feedback or notification. I feel the haptic feedback could also have been included which is like a small vibration to fill in that gap. Regardless of that, the bike packs some serious safety features for the riders. Charging has been always a challenge in electric bikes because you'll have to carry these everywhere. Now, if you miss carrying it, you'll end up needing it especially on those long rides. Ultraviolet has just solved that issue by doing this. So the X47 comes with an optional 1.6 kWh onboard charger which basically means you don't need to carry a charger separately. You have a wire which you can plug in and charge just like how you do it with your mobile phones. There is also possibility of parallel charging which means you can charge using a booster charger alongside the onboard charger for that quick charging need. Ultraviolet claims that charging from 0 to 80% using the portable charger takes 3 hours for 7.1 kWh variant and 5 hours for 10.3 kWh variant. With the optional onboard charger, you can charge from 0 to 80% in just 2 hours 40 minutes on the 7.1 kWh variant and 4 hours in the 10.3 kWh variant. The higher variant Desert Wing comes with 8 years or 8 lakh kilometers warranty, Virginal Plus and Recon comes with 5 years or 1 lakh kilometers warranty, while the basic variant Virginal comes with standard 3 years or 60,000 kilometers warranty which can be extended to 5 years by paying a little bit of premium. The standard vehicle warranty for the parts other than the battery and drivetrain is 3 years or 30,000 kilometers. So we have not tried the charging part ourselves to actually derive what number but from the numbers that we see, we feel it's okay considering that it's a bulky bike which has a bigger battery pack. We feel for a bike which is of 2.5 lakh plus rupees, the 3 years of warranty could have been better. So what's good and what's not so good about this bike? Let's see first what's so good. The first thing has to be the design. The bike is designed really well, it's aesthetically appealing and the detailing in the design that has been gone in this bike is looking really really good. So the second point will be the performance. So the bike is really good in acceleration and the speed and the handling is also good at the higher speeds. So the third point has to be the safety, it packs some really good safety features, it has ADAS, it has dash cam, it has some software integrated safety features which is really really good for a bike. So what's not so good about this bike? Now the first thing has to be the curb weight. It has approximately 210 kgs of curb weight. But again, on the higher speeds you won't feel that the bike is heavy. It really handles well. The second point has to be the range. It has a tow range of around 150 km for the lower variant of the bike which we feel could have been a little better. The third point has to be the warranty that the bike is getting. 
you get only 3 years of warranty for the lower trim of the bike which we feel could have been a little better all right now let's get to the best part we'll rate x47 based on the six parameters we checked out design 4.5 out of 5 features 4.5 out of 5 performance and range 4 out of 5 ride and handling is 4 out of 5 safety is 4.5 out of 5 and charging and warranty is 4 out of 5 that makes up the SUV overall score 8.5 out of 10 which is a huge thumbs up from our end so in a nutshell Ultra Ride X47 is a reimagined package of what an electric bike can do in terms of design performance and crossover utility the bike is aggressively designed and it will not cease you to impress in terms of the acceleration and speed you get but also will be a very practical bike for your daily commute the pre-booking of this bike is already open and you can do it from their website by paying 999 rupees the deliveries will commence by the end of this month which is october 2025 and you'll get this bike within 30 to 60 days from the day you book it personally i have grown to start liking this bike because it checks all the things that i need in a bike again based on what your priorities and what is your requirement you can make a decision right. thanks for watching this video share it with your friend who is looking for an electric bike you can join our whatsapp community if you have any questions the link is in the description we'll be doing an in-depth ownership review once the bike hits the road so make sure you subscribe to our channel this is prashant signing off thank you